We're here with John Hodgman, who, who is presenting a Lifetime Achievement Award to The Onion. How are you oh. feeling? Are you excited? Oh, you just revealed it. Spoilers. The Onion's getting it. <laughs> you heard it here first. We did hear it here first. I feel great. You know, it was a chance to reflect upon just how influential The Onion has been uh, in humor and in internet culture and in culture in general. And, you know, when I started working at The Daily Show, uh, uh, ben Carlin had been uh, one of the head writers of The Onion and got poached by Jon Stewart to help craft essentially the fake news ethos of The Daily Show of the, of the 2000s into the mid-2015s. So, uh, you know, if, if, if it weren't for that partner, if it weren't for The Onion, I don't think, think we would have The Daily Show as we know it today. Obviously not to take away from Jon Stewart's own comedic brilliance, but there was clear influence there. It's very interesting. Yeah. So, you're a very accomplished humor writer. You edit the humor section of the New York Times Magazine. How have you seen humor writing change as it's moved on to the internet and for an online audience? Well, I mean, I think that, um, you know, the legacy of The Onion, of course, is just this profound literary deadpan where you use the most banal language to describe the strangest and most sort of astonishing things that we don't want to recognize about our own culture. And, um, and I think that, you know, its influence upon uh, internet humor, it, it, it really, I think, opened up a new wave of very smart, very well-crafted literary comedy, written comedy, that probably hadn't quite existed since, well, perhaps National Lampoon in the 70s, and then, you know, Thurber and The New Yorker and everything else before. So it really, it really the, the, the internet is, a, is a, a huge boon for words, um, as well as for images. So uh, as someone who likes both of those things, I'm glad of it. <laughs> Interesting. Um, do you have any favorite all-time pieces by The Onion? Yes. I, I, I'll, Can you pick I, one? Yeah, no, I mean, the one that that I think really clicked for me, the one that I remember and quote all the time is one, it was just a headline because, uh, you know, they're, they're the stories and they're just headlines for fake stories. And as a man holding his five-year-old son or daughter, I can't remember, and the headline said, our children, colon, are they sexy enough, question mark? And I was just like, it was so precisely articulated something that I didn't even appreciate in this culture was just like the, the sexualization of younger and younger teens and tweens and stuff. It was just really funny, so.